So here, cutoff opens, button three bets, and you're the cutoff. So you're facing uh What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Uh, we're going to look at three bet pots from out of position uh, between 60 big line and 40 big line. Uh, and we're either going to be the three better or we're going to take the three better. So I would fold here. Yeah. You can't fold that hand. Why not? It's not a fold. It's just, it's just Broadway. Pure, pure call. Are you kidding? There's no way. It's, it's a fold. fold. No, it's pure fold. fold. Never fold in that. What's our range to say? I'm sorry. This is blind versus blind, right? No, no. no. This was these were this was cutoff versus button. I think. Oh, 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 oh! I thought we were small blind, big blind. Okay, sorry. It's a call. Yeah. Check fold. Yeah. Ooh, small bet. Never folds, but you just fold. Well, that was that bet was like 10% or something, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh so I, almost had the, this is a, almost had I, the odds to set my yeah, you have to call. You this can raise the, this is a call. You, you can raise the 15. Can. Offsuit. I'm falling. I think it's a mix. No way. Really? Bluff. I'm four bet bluffing. Call. Yeah, I think it's a call. Hey. Um. Oh, that's weird. And I think this is a check raise here, right? I think you have to check raise this. Yeah, it's our best queen. Yeah. And I, th I think. I'm check. I'm thinking of check calling this. Check, check call too. I'm yeah. always raising at this SPR. So yeah, wh where, where's your border? When do you call it and when do you raise? We have worse queens to call. I think, I think of your uh, queen nine. I, I raise still. I what about queen 10? I'm definitely raising. Queen eight? I think I, I mix heavily with queen eight. Queen eight shooter yeah. might be yeah. bottom of our range. Maybe. We don't have a worse queen than that, I don't think, ever. The reason I'm calling is that the only card I don't want to see is uh, an ace. Every other card in the deck is good for me. Oh, we have queen six. I don't have queen six. So queen eight, you raise. Just... I want to call yeah. a little bit with queen 10, but yeah. me, queen nine, queen eight. Queen eight and, and better. Are and it's good. almost always a good rule of thumb. If you're top of range, you can raise because that's sweet. And we have ace queen. Ace queens are calling. Wow. <laughs> now we're screwed. Well, yeah. We were Fold. going we were against Ace Queen. Fold. Fold. Yeah. Fold. Broke. Fold. Fold. Oh. I bet you there's a mix here, but I fold this. There is mixing. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing 100%. Yeah, I'm mixing 100% to a call. How about that? So what kings <laughs> call? It's the... All of them? That's, that's just garbage. You get eaten alive if you call that everything. How about that? Almost all of them. The button's got to be three betting, like all that junky stuff. That they have uh, to make this any good, I think. What's their three bet range? James, are you watching this? Uh huh. Hmm. What I think I, I think I call. Nice call. Is this a good card for us or a bad card? I think. Uh, right? <laughs> Uh, now I think I have to fold. Yeah. Well, I'm folding. Yeah, fold. It's very easy. What if it was like uh, any Broadway? Like if let's say let's say it was a jack. I mean, if it was a jack of hearts or a jack of, you know, any, anything but jack of spades. I think. 
I'm think you have to. I, I think you have to call a second time. I'm following that every double. No, I think there's a way to run a report on that, but I'm not sure. There is. You can just go to reports. I'm not calling any double barrels. Go to turn. Unless it's like one big blind bullshit. Go to reports. Why? I put a jack in. Is it? Uh, you can yeah. do it that way too. Yeah, it's a call, I think. Yeah. But now, but if it's, um, you know, now I think if it's like a spade, I think you have to start folding. No, I'm wrong. So we're really trying to dodge like an ace. What about the 10? Is the 10 good or bad? I think the 10. I mean, again, I, I would call. Are you I would calling call an offshoot? Burn? An offshoot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But a, a spade ten, I think I'm folding, which is probably wrong. Fold. Fold. Oh, blind versus blind. Hold on. Blind, blind versus blind. Got a call. You're kidding. 10 4 suited. Four, this might four bet some. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it, it. Fold. It's fold. A fold. <laughs> What's our worst suited 10 we call? Ken, what, what, what is going on? In suited, that? man. 10 4. Eight. You're facing a, four, a three bet. All this. Jesus. I think eight. Eight. 10 7 10 four, 8. Like, oh, are yeah. you serious with that? <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking limp raise. I think they limp. I'm thinking it's a limp raise. Oh, it was an open raise, but bet raise. Yeah. Raise raise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm falling. So um, I, what's I think the, yeah. what's I think the smallest 10 you would I think it's um, a four jam. Four bet with? I think it's a four bet jam here. I like calling. I like calling too, but do you, which, mm. which Jaces do you jam is the question. Uh, we're gonna jam like yeah. H five suited there, maybe H five, H four. What about Ace King? Um, yeah, maybe. Probably, actually. Some of the best Ace X, some so. of the worst. Yeah, I always like to try to think about the border. So I look at Ace ten and go, "Well, I'll do this," but okay, w w where would it change? Right, Ace King, Ace Queen, five, Ace four. You need to call here. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I would be pretty tempted to to check. Well, that didn't change our range at all. So yeah, you're right. It's probably just a call. Thing yeah. is, think about our outs. We got all the space, so around twenty percent. Then we got three aces, uh, so that's like uh, six percent. So it's three outs we, times two. It's we have 12 more. So We have at least 26% equity here. Yep. Right. And plus, and plus, 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 maybe. And then we're playing for a pot. There's four, a pot size. Four, four plus eight. I think we jam it. It's going to be 32. So it's eight on 32. We're, we are, we are priced in here. We get 25% pot odds and we make our hand around 26% of the time. 20% with the flush, three aces times two, 6%, 26%. Two jacks too. It's a call. Yeah. Can, you, can you study that spot? Yeah, the jack too, I, I forgot. Ever jack. James. Yeah, can you study? What's, yeah, the, what's the point of jamming there? Well, because if I hit my hand, I want to make sure I get paid. Like, there's no guarantee if I call, he puts any more chips in on the river. I hate to call and not get the rest of the value from my hand. Obviously, it's the wrong thought process because it never does it. See, I, the reason why I think that, I mean, your, your thinking is, I think, good, except for the fact that the SPR at the river is really low. I mean, you've got, he's going to be really incented to call with any made hand. That's so we, gotta, we just dock when we hit? I think so you're going to. Yes, you donk when you hit. 
It doesn't look like we get a jam very much. It looks like we get a jam of some kings, a little bit of kings, right? Um, on the turn. And the yeah, wheel, ace it. draw, flush draws. The wheel, they have to have the straight draw to go with the, uh, well, we got a straight, got a gutter with the ace 10, but ace two, ace three with a gutter and I guess they're spades. You yeah. don't want to have a jack or a 10 in your hand because that is a lot of his bluff cards here. So that's why we don't get to jam the ace jack, but we do get to jam the ace three. Yeah, the 10 blocks out to a good thing in there. 10 bad. So which 10 jacks are raising here? Not speed. Okay. And it just is the logic there is that because it unblocks the spades, increasing the likelihood that that puts pressure on him with the race. Because mm -hmm. he's got more draws in his hand. I think we just have to give up here, right? Oh, no. Yeah. King 10. Uh... Fold. Fold. Oh, yeah, fold. Oh. Yeah. Blind versus blind again. Oh. I mean, I, this this one might be one that you, oh. you four bet. This one might be one that you four bet small. I'm cool. I think you four bet any of them small. There's no four I'm bet. Cool. Why is there no four bets here? You've got king eight. That's not the kind of hand you want to four bet. We check races. Probably not. And this is a way to lose it. But I'm in love. Are you? In see what he bets. Bet see what he bets. See what he bets. Is that taller in the three, in a three bet pot? Oh, it never oh. checks. It donks. Holy Why does it donk? shit. What other hand does it donk here? So, I mean, I, I knew I wanted to do something with this hand, but I wasn't thinking it was a donk. It, does it donk because it's one of the flops that's best for us? Because we have... So many I, I don't think nine, nine jack nine seven connects well with the the three betters range and it connects with our range much better mm -hmm. and so that's that seems to be when these things donk right yeah docking in a three bet pot savage yeah. <laughs> that's your new favorite spot no i mean this is <laughs> i'm not gonna find this stuff i can thank that I mean, I, I, I just learned something there. I would never dump there, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, but like... Yeah, I mean, I would tell you that in a lot of situations, the EV difference between donk and checking is very small. Same, yeah. And I don't even know how to begin to start structuring that beyond this one flop. All right, so we and, that's when, and that's when it's possible. Most of the time, it's not possible. So we well, that's the reason why we're studying it. Yeah. Did we dunk, we dunk this flop because we're geniuses? Uh, we got a check. I yeah, think sure. it's docked. I think we. What well, kind yeah. of card do you barrel? Solely at them? Or a king? I think so. Uh, I think, uh, he, I mean, I think maybe a hearts, six. Hearts and diamonds would be some barrels, I think, less on spades. And then like 6X, King X. Obviously, when a straight comes in. So if you go to turn and run a report, it'll give you the hands you dock. Or you continue, I should say. Oops. Check all, I think. There you go. These colors just blow my mind. I can't really read this. I wish we. I wish you would make it more like. Well, this is this is. Uh, these don't look like custom colors. Did you customize these? Yeah. 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 But it's very easy. Yeah, yeah but it'd be easier if they were the same as every other tool we used. They were like the same. Color. I like this. I like these colors. Oh my god. I prefer them. Blue is blue is big. Blue is big. Yellow yeah. is that small. Yeah, yellow is. Yeah, I, I do. I do prefer this. There's a way of doing this so that it just goes down the left screen instead of this. Uh, but, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. 
I so find what is, it so hard to see the difference in the shades of red in the other tools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this. Gray, is, you don't bet. Uh, what don't we bet? Oh, Gray, you don't bet. I've got no idea what's the strategy, though. Looking at this, looks like a seven well, is not good. Well, the tens, you get betting in with tens. You get betting, obviously, with nines and sevens, right? Six is good, right? Ten's good, brings in a straight. How about a king? Yeah, king's good too. Ah, there we go. Look at this. Oh, so now you got an order of action. That's good. An order of the best one. So yeah. So the ten is the best because it completes our straight, right? Ten's eight five. five, so not. Six. An eight is pretty good. The pair of eight. <laughs> who, who, who would have thought we have king eight here? It completes a straight. It's a four liner now when we make an eight. That's crazy. Yeah, because like our donkey strategy is going to be constructed around having an eight or a 10 in our hand a lot. So both of them get to bluff because half of the time we just made a straight there. Yeah, that's right. And then if you take it the other way from a connectivity standpoint, the four, the three better doesn't have a 10 a lot. This is a great way to put it together. We really see how on a five, we start to have a checking range. On eight or ten, we don't have a checking range. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it puts the one liner in there, right? So the worst you... is the seven. Okay. So as the low card pairing is very bad for Can us. You... Then the king, because it's a three bet pot, and the king is great for our opponent. You're right. You're and if the it's queen the pairs, thing. so we need to dodge the board pairing because the nine is probably somewhere close. Seems like the nine is not so bad, but like it's not so great if a, a card pairs. Can you change the seven to a spade and see what happens here? If the seven is a spade instead of a diamond? Yeah, you can do that. So the same thing continues to be true with the tens and the eights. It's the one-liner function feature. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's still uh, two of the same suit. It's just a different color now. I mean, Doesn't, what changes is that now, now, if you have a spade hey, in your hand, it's, it's good. Hey, Louis, can you recycle the actions? Just change it and change it back because it looks like it didn't redo it because this betting is not in order. Oh, the yellow is a bet. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Disregard the question. Yeah. Uh, but it's now betting small a lot, whereas it's betting small. Yeah. It was betting big. Think of the bar is rainbow. What was it? Seven of clubs. It was a mm -hmm. diamond, actually. <laughs> yeah, because it uh, run in a back door. Yeah, it's using the big bets more. Yeah, a lot more across the board. But yeah, this is a really cool tool. Yeah. Okay. Hey James, what do you want to do? I mean, honestly, I I hate it right now. I feel like I feel like I want to call, but it's probably a fold. We what need a we need a diamond in our hand to call, probably. Right? I think you got to fold this in. I want to hit fold, yeah. You unblock the diamonds. Wait, we block. You unblock the straight. You don't you don't block it, the straight on board he could have he was a three better so ace well ace well, would no, you no. rule when you river the pair you don't get the fold lp is that one of your rules one of my rules here is when you have top pair in a three that but you just close your eyes and call okay i think mean, you're right but the thing is here the flush completed but the would take the, the we, most we, the four liner the damn four liner completed yeah so yeah. i think you just have to fold it so. I, I don't hate fold folding. this one we fold yeah, yeah it's, I figured it would call it's basically a total mix 50 50 right yeah. i mean this is real yeah close. and i think i thought you don't really fold it there just that's just how it is but yeah and this is what this is like if you're gonna ever do it it might be here right because no, I disagree. I disagree because on four liners, you should way overfold because people don't bluff these spots. And then it's not only a four liner, the backdoor flush came in. So it's a very dangerous board. 
Yeah. And the thing, yeah, the thing about this particular four liner is it, he, gotcha. he doesn't have a lot of tens. He did that with a seven. Gotcha. A dirty Ooh. bastard. Yeah. We're not going to see that in our age too often. Someone's not going to triple that hand. I, I see. I don't even understand his strategy there because, like, why would you turn a made hand, even if it's weak, into into a bluff? Triple it. Because he can get us the full bolt top pair. Just take a look. It's it's what other bluffs do you have? It you you your last thing that you start bluffing are things like your bottom pairs. Right. So does he just not as everything else come in that he was that he was had on the turn? So I tend to yeah, I mean I tend to bluff bottom pair when I know that it's just not good because of the action, but in this case, I'm not so sure I do that. I'm his stamp. Yeah. All right. So this is a call. You guys call here? No. Yeah, there were there were four yeah, think, cards it is straight hand to flush. Like bottom pair is the worst hand he has. I don't want to get called. But now you have top pair. I think you just have to check call, right? Yeah. Yep. I think um, check calling here is a mistake. What do you do? You fold it? Raise. I think you raise it, right? Well, uh, this SPR. Yeah. Hands like top pair, good kicker. I mean, nine, I always want nine to. blocks on bluffs. I think I actually am going to call. Check oh, I'm jam. Sorry. Check jam. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, can you study that? I want to. I want to know what else we don't jam. It, Every uh, good. We've only got sixteen left. It's a very simple spot, there, James. If I have like queen eight, I'm calling. If I have queen deuce, I'm calling. If I have a set, I'm calling. If I have a, a very strong hand, a flush, a straight, whatever, we don't care. We're just calling. A pure check. Top pair, top kicker, or top pair, good kicker. You're always raising it again. It. It's a okay. Short stack. So if you if you let's say you have queen five here, uh, which I do, I think you fold pre flop. But let's say you do have queen five for some reason. Get out I'm, of line. I'm just you, calling. You just, you just call. Okay. Yeah. My okay. line was yeah. nine exactly. I was saying I, I was thinking ten was the check raise start the beginning of check raise. No, very often it's like queen a queen nine this area, but queen eight here is two pair. And I think queen seven is a bit too weak, but it's queen seven is going to mix. Oh, uh, in Mexico. Yeah. We don't have queen seven. But it wants to raise every suited queen, basically. But if we were looser, that's how I would structure it. What are you doing on turn? I'm checking. I'm checking. Uh, I'm never checking here. We check great. I think you have, yeah, no, I think no, you have no. to jam I'm, I'm your SPR. Yeah. If he has yeah, a better yeah. queen, then so be it. But no, I'm not, not worried about a better queen. I just don't think it, I think it's going to be hard for him to continue. I want I want him to catch up or think I'm weak. No. Yeah. Uh, I think I think yeah. he has to call. I think he has to call with an eight. I think he has to check with... raise as a bluff here. Okay. The SPR is so low. I mean what what do you want to do with your bluff, sir? A lot of them are going to give up because they didn't improve. I don't know. You're, you're out of position. Your queen doesn't improve your bluffs, only your value. I'm sorry, Ken. This is an all in. Oh, my goodness. 10%. Yeah, I mean, I thought about 10%, but his stacks, his, his, he was so low on chips, I just figured check. I think that's for about four of us. Like, my bluffs don't you're giving up here. Your bluffs are, most of your bluffs are giving up there, I think, LP. That 10%. What does he have? Oh my god! <laughs> Perfect. Thank I mean, I was always sticking all the chips in. I'm not worried about a better queen. He just happens to have it here, but like, that's not why I wanted to check. Why are you checking there, Ken? Are you checking for deception? Well, oh, because the queen doesn't improve my my range unless I have a queen. <sighs> King. Oh my god. Alt four bet. Uh no. Uh, that, uh we're blind. No. Oh no, wait, this is cut off. 
fall up folding. I think it's a fold, yeah. <laughs> Two percent. Oh, I'm pretty sure you would have folded. Yeah, you're supposed to, I think. This could get in there. I mean, this could call her jam. Call her jam. There's no way I'm calling. Yes. Well, raises mostly. Yeah. What do you mean? It's blind versus blind. This guy wants to play. We're going to play. All three EVs are exactly the same. Can't make a mistake. I think here you actually get a bit, bit large, right? Check raise. Yeah. yeah that's a bit with, bigger. With like A7 with, with bet large, eights, nines, but tens is too strong, jacks is too strong. So we bet small. Check raise. And not having a space increase our frequency and should increase our bed size, but we don't need to size up it. Our there it well. is. Our well. Wow, just go for it all. All in. Wow. Oh. Stop being a net. Six. It's enough. I think because we're, we don't want a five. We don't uh, see, I knew these two three. were going to play, but I thought these two were way too strong. But no, we just tough it. Keep it simple. So, but you got to stuff, stuff your king, king 10, king jack, king queen, ace five. Like, who's finding all these other bluffs to stuff? I would. You might now, but I don't think you would have before this. Ace five is nuts. It's easy to find the over pairs. Those mm -hmm. bluffs, like, we don't have any other connectivity to the board. I would stuff this for sure. Stuff this, I'd stuff all of this. I would stuff the fives. Do I find ace 10? I yeah, know. fives are, I would find. Yeah, I don't think I find like ace 10, king 10, king jack, king queen, honestly, ace nine. There are super, there are blockers to exactly. I think I can find ten. ace eight, ace five, five. Right. Look at it's ace game. five offsuit or pocket five. It's like, It's very connected. Uh, not... And those that are not full frequency, like eight, sevens, and six, we don't really call. We don't, we don't, okay. So we're like mimicking the over pairs. Well, actually, it's yeah. fine. If you're not using jacks and queens, you don't have to use, you can just get away with using the ace five, ace eight, and fives with your nines and tens, I think, right? I guess if you want to put your ace kings in there. Huh. And then you can bet small with your other combos. Hold. Okay. I've already had to bite my lip not to say four bit. <laughs> Ace ten. Well, better of it. So why, why are we jamming? Go back, go back, go back. Why are, why are we four bet jamming here on like uh, fives and uh, fours hands like this? We block the wheels. It's like the wheels want to do it, and then pairs that match the wheel want to do it. Kind of makes sense. Fours and fives protect your ace fours and ace fives. We're bluffing the bluffs with fives. So in, this is a common this is a common thing that you see where it, it kind of it, it it does that. Like jacks tends and then it gets smaller and then it gets bigger as you get down. I don't know why it's not doing it. But I guess fives and fours are the most common wheel raises that you see. I don't know. It's more than a call, right? So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I have to be honest, I would never find it. Blind versus blind? I would never find a four a four bet jam on fives and fours there. 
I, I thought, thought, I thought I we agreed last night. That's, that that's pocket why you studied four. this. You remember pocket four? Yeah, I do remember pocket fours. And what did I do? It's like you, you just called. I, I called. <laughs> and we said I, I would always rip into you with it. Yeah, I think I over those pairs, honestly, myself. Against Jane? Pocket four? The nuts? <laughs> There's no way I'm not ripping. Especially if he calls with like Queen Eight off. I'm folding his hand. For God knows what seven four super. <laughs> I'm folding. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you a birthday card with a Queen oh Queen Nine off and a seven four suited as. No, no it's seven. Queen Eight off suitors. That was Queen uh, Nine. Look, it's zero EV and a popula like population isn't bluff. I'm always <laughs> falling here, Ken. I'm on. always I'm it's always late position against late position. I'm always folding. They're not bluffing enough. See? That's right. Well, and so okay. Ken, I think you're I mean, if you believe that, then your your fold makes sense. Like I mean, I'll, look at, I'll look at their HUD, right? First. But you I mean, if you're looking at a mix like that and, and, and you have a read like that, then that's the proper adjustment. Yeah. I, I, I want to I want to fold here is what I want to do. But. Hold on. What do you want to hold on to? So we have two errors. Back door straight, back door flush. I don't think we get the fold. That's what I was going to say. I agree. But yeah. we do. But we do. You get to continue. Oh my God. Oh, oh, like now that? we got the we got the LP rule coming into effect on the turn. <laughs> Now, now we have the nuts. Oh yeah. So when he jams here, uh, we just rip it. Yeah. Uh, can you can you study that spot, LP? Because what what do we do if he jams? Do we fold? No. Oh, no. no, you're never folding top oh. pair. You're committed. I mean, when you start out with these kind of blinds, you you become committed on top pair like this. He's got gifted. Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, check. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, this we're is small a check. Yeah, it's a check. This is a check raise spot. Um, you can check raise or check call. Either one's fine. Let me think about check raising. What better aces are we gonna fold? We're not gonna fold like. Ace King, we're not folding ace queen, probably not folding ace jack. I, I like a check raise versus this sizing. I think I would call. I think I think a check raised 55%. We do have the straight. We had we do we do have straight draws too with the flush draws. So I probably will raise actually. We get better ace to fold when we check raise. Not many of them though. If you think about it, which ones are gonna fold? Ace, ace nine, ace ten, ace, maybe ace, ace nine, jack and ace probably. ten fold like uh, hearts. Ace jack probably mixes. And look at look at something like ace four. Ace That's four is calls. Calls. Yeah. I don't really think we get that many better aces to fold with our exact hand. Like ace two, ace three of spades. I'm sure are probably raising there. Are those even in range? What's the worst ace we have? I think we have all the suited aces that aren't the best ones. Up to I think we have like ace ten and down. What do we do now? Just call. Just call. Uh, he's going to have to check a lot here because we do have we have queens, right? So yeah, he has to check back a lot. So. Not gonna we don't, we still, not, not the, bot. Play, but... the bot ain't giving up. Call fold. Oh, holy. oh my god. Call. It's a call. The top yeah. card there. So no, no stress like me. Yeah. I mean, we block flush draws. Uh he's not bluffing ace high, so it's not bad having an ace. Uh, we block blind versus ace. blind. We block yeah. ace queen, which is probably good. Let's see. Oh my god. See, like, well, I'm not running into people doing this. That's the problem. I am doing this. You know, yeah, I missed that. What was the what was the river action? Did you did you call that? Yeah, we called that. You shoved. Can you see? Go back and see what aces we are raising on the flop. I think it's gonna be like ace two, ace three. 
Um, here, you can do it. What are you doing when you find yourself on the river with nothing, okay? Bluff, all right? Can I give you a control? You can uh, see this. Uh, you sent me something? I gave you control of the screen. I'll be right back. I don't know how to use this. Just click. What happened, I, I to the last, what happened to the last hand? It's gone. I wanted to see the bluffs. I know how to use right? this if you, if you want. So we're not raising ace two. Oh, ace two, we had a pair. Okay, it makes sense. All right. Okay. Give it uh, to uh, give it to Joss because I don't really know how to use this program. He has it. I'll be right back. All right, cool. Am I am I moving the mouse? No. Yes. Yeah, you got the clicker. Well, where does the I, I see? Are you ready to go? No, go to last hand. Uh, he did already. I, I just no, that was that that was the turn strategy. Oh, we finished it though, right? Yeah, but you wanted to. I, oh, I wanted to see the flop. Yeah. You want to? Yeah, we were, you're looking at turn. You want to see what ace? Raised, but I didn't realize I didn't, we had. I didn't realize there was a two on the flop. So the ace two. Is probably Sorry about that. Raised. Okay, so what do you guys want to see? Yeah, ace three, ace four. That makes sense. I want to see which flop. aces we're raising on the flop. It's the worst yeah. ones. Okay, so where's the flop? It's so weird. Like, where's the flop? I just saw it. Raise, fold, 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 raise, raise, fold, fold, call. This we called this, right? We were yeah. blind versus blind, weren't we? There's no, no it's button. It's button versus cut off. Uh, okay, what was the flop? Uh, I think it was queen eight two with two spades. I think you were right. Like this, something like that. Yeah. Okay, where are the cutoff, right? Yeah, so we check and he bets 25%. Thank you. Okay, here you go. So you want to know what ace is? Raised, yeah. yeah. And what do we have? Ace what? Seven? Ace seven. Suited? Yeah. Yeah, we have ace seven so spades. Doing, uh, a good amount of raising, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and also, like, look at the frequencies at which we have ace six. Ace, it's not that much we have these suited aces, right? Yeah, and one of the things I find really useful about this particular um, application is you can look at it based on the hand, made hands and draws. So why do we have the suited aces that rarely? So are we not calling every single one? Well, this is like us folding some of them, but like the frequency preflop is like we're jamming ace five a lot or four betting it ace four as well. Yeah, so he's got this set up this way. You can also change the heights and you can see the waiting there. Yeah, I like this. Too. So eight. Wait, ace click five. On click on strategy so we can see the EV. And you want me to show the EVs? There it goes. That shows it. We do a ton of folding. Yeah, we are uh, overfolding for the three bet, but that's three bet pot, so it's probably not, not yeah. terribly uncommon, I guess. So, yeah, James, are you good? So, we... well, I'm I'm looking at Ace Deuce, like Ace Deuce suited here. Pair. Yeah, it's pair, but okay. Yeah, we're barely folding any pairs. We fold a little bit of fours. And a little bit of sixes, but basically we don't fold any pairs. Call yeah, I mean I just I like I probably overfold there and just call with spades, like four spades, three spades, five spades, six spades. I overfold, just defend the spade. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. We open cutoff uh, button raises facing ace queen. I think this is a call, and I think ace queen off is a four bet jam. You good? Uh, I'm just ripping this all in. Yeah. Oh, oh or Ken, you and I are both wrong. <laughs> oh, we're 60. I'm thinking 40. Yeah. 60s are in. 40 is a jam, right? 
So you start calling it a strat. Yeah. Right, that was suited, right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. But the um, ace queen off is a is a four bet jam. Not pure, but a lot of the way. Yeah. All right. So what we can do is we can actually just follow that. And now, so we raise this time and we'll continue. And then he goes all in. Got to call it off. Yeah, call. I think you have to call. And that's correct. I call. And which of these do you fold? Um, yeah. Ace Jack, these, these, these ones right here. And yeah, and some of your, your garbage there at the top. But I don't know if I'm calling sixes or fives. You don't four bet them very often. So when you have them, you got to call. Yeah. You see the waiting down here, right? Yeah. And actually, you, if you fold, you're giving up a lot of EV, right? 225. Yeah. But I, I mean, yeah, it's huge. But I just, I'm being honest. I don't think I call it off. So I'm not, right. I don't really four bet them. So I'm not worried too worried about it. I'm not really four betting like five, sixes, sevens or. Eight, I'm very happy to call. I I, right. I had four about jam. I'm at forty. At forty, yeah, we were sixty. I, I thought it was forty as well at first. Anything else on this one before we go on? No, we're good. All right, next hand. Okay, so this is blind versus blind. Uh, we got three bet by the big blind with ten seven offsuit. Easy fold. fold. It's just a fold. Anybody else? Yep, we'll fold. Yep, fold. All right. And okay. same thing, blind versus blind, a seven offsuit. Didn't we just do this? Um, oh, this can, is a call. Yeah. yeah, this is a call. I don't really get the fold aces. Uh, I, I think it's a fold. Well, no. you, don't, you don't get to fold them. You gotta I, like, I like four betting. Well, I guess that calling and four betting the worst aces. Ace two and ace six full. Was this a seven offsuit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a pure call. There's a little sliver of a race, but I'm over calling my offsuit. the seat there. I'm sorry. I'm calling too many of my offsuit aces in these spots. I don't really fold. No, Scotty, did you say something? No, okay. All right. So we call. And we move on, and he oh, flop comes ace ten seven, so we flop top and bottom. Check. Yeah, it's check. a check. Check to the yeah. razor. Check jam. And check call. He checks back. So now, do we take the initiative? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Um, we have to. Sizing. Yeah. Pot. Let's see what's a half pot bet put in there. Not so eight sixteen thirty six forty something. Eight, one yeah. and a half it's SPR. I go probably like quarter pot. Twenty five. I like half. I like half pot. It makes it um geometric. We need yeah. to get called by a ten. Do that. So this is an induce. This is check to induce, right? Yeah. Check to protect your checking range. Okay. So what confuses me about that? is i mean any ace would protect your checking range and you've got a value hit here i mean well you don't I, get to check raise other aces like i think you want to start going for value with most of your ace x and then it, uh you mix checking with your strong hands like this like top and i i, I would imagine ace 10 is probably betting and then a seven mostly checks. I guess when we check twice on ace high board, they get to bluff a lot more as well. I imagine. Yeah, sorry, I'm having a hard time remembering whether they're suited or not, so I have to go back. Ace seven on. Yeah. I, so I mean, th this is very confusing to me because I, I think that you're right. You're you want to protect your range, but do you need to do it with such a? This, I mean, this is a strong hand, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. remember, Josh. Remember, Josh. The the thing with the two pairs. If you're going to check back any two pairs, it's top bottom. It's top and bottom, yeah. Uh, if if you're talked gonna, about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. If that you're gonna, uh, so, and so. you see that you see that here, this bets this is betting more. Ace 10 is betting more than a seven. 
And what about eight, ten seven? Do we have ten seven anywhere? Ten here? seven will bet all the time. If it, if we have, right, it, we don't it have it all it, the time. A seven is actually yeah. betting more than ace ten. It's just different sizings. Ace, the check back ace range. Seven, like, ace ten is checking more. You want to value more. with your other ace x because you're not blocking calls. Like with ace awesome. seven, you're just blocking a bunch of pairs. So like a six, a five, a three get to go for value. A eight. Uh, I, I don't know why ace nine is checking so much. Ace jack is like pure betting. Twenty seven. Look, look, look what you're doing with jack nine, like jack nine, and like the, these hands that have kind of junky straight draws are are uh, blasting away. Yeah, we want to have a lot of bluffs. I guess he's kind of capped when he checks back the flop, so I guess we want to find more bluffs. Yeah, you're right. Ace uh, ten does check more. He's wrong. So I am going to put this back to pure strategy, and the reason why is it does, it presents the percentages here. It's easier for you to read. Fine. If somebody wants me to go back to EB, just let me know. All right, we good. So that's learning for me, and thanks, Scotty. It takes a couple of times because <laughs> I right, missed, right. this came up yesterday when we were talking. And, All right, and I was so, and I was wrong about what I said. I was wrong about what I said yesterday because it checked ace ten more than it checked ace seven. So, oh well. Check that. So that we checked, it changed the answer. Just saying. So, you know, so now king comes, um, and it checked back, right? Yeah, checked back. So now we have two pair on a made flush board, made straight board. And we are first act. So he doesn't have ace ten. I don't think. I don't think he has ace king. I don't think he has very many flushes. So like I'm going to go uh, two thirds. I don't like that. I, I don't what like. What are you calling us with? If we're going to bet, we have to bet. Uh, I mean, I think, I think we have to bet like thirty five percent here. I don't I want to like block bet and have to. Well, I mean, I guess we can call off a raise. I'm just going for value here. It's harder for them to raise bluff when you go a little bigger as well. I mean, Caps, what's call, what is calling you? What's calling you? I mean, king call it a ten, I king, guess. King queen, king jack, no, yeah, king, king nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna you're call trying it. to get called by a king, right? Yeah, I think two thirds is good. I bet pot or check. I think I do thirty-seven percent, and I'm checking a check raise when I whenever. Anybody want to bet eleven percent or one hundred and sixty-three percent? Yeah, I'm either sixty-three or one sixty. It could be eleven too. So I'm going with sixty-three. I don't have. I mean, I'm betting don't have 37. I'm yeah, I'm betting 90. I'm betting okay, let's, just, let's just do this. So, Cap, what are you betting? You got to pick one of them. 63. James? 37. Nick? I don't know if he's uh, 90, 70% of the time, and check the rest. All right. Scotty? 37%. I'm going to bet small with my kings, probably. So, a lot of my king acts will bet small, I think. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, this is just a pure block at 11 or 63% because I don't like these, you know, either I'm blocking. And what I've learned is like when you're blocking, you really don't need to block, bet that much. Or you got to bet like a, a river, a late a late hand bet, which to me is like 50% or more. So I, think I'm the hand's too, I think the hand is too strong to block bet. I agree. So I'm betting 63. I'm going to, I think the consensus was 37. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Bro. Oh, I was so close. I said 70 30. It's 80 20. Yeah. yeah. Gotta even get, gotta even get <laughs> Good job. All right. Let's look at this. Let's gotta just... even get great. The EV is the same on 63 and 90, but obviously 90s. The, they're, if they're going to call both, you might as well go for the 90. They're calling the same hands. Yeah. Can't you just bet? All right. So what would we have? A7? This is what. So it's using these larger bet sizes more, and there's no blocking. The only thing that gets bet small is this, right? King eight suited. What is king suited? What is well, that? They, you bet with kings, oh, it's a, right? Kings, kings. Yeah, six. the king, the king is using a small bet, a very small bet. That's really yeah. Good. So can you? Can you see what the difference of calling range is between betting 90 and betting 37? You want to know the EV? No, I do want to know the difference of the 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 um, big blinds calling range. So like bet 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 80 here or 90 or whatever it is, and then we'll see what they're uh, – it's all the way to the right at the top. 
Oh, I see. So let me just see. The, my, the problem I'm having is, um, let me see if I can get rid of, is I've got a, I've got, because I'm not, it's not my thing. I'm having a hard time getting rid of getting the, um, I, I can't mouse over is my problem enough to do that. What do you want to do? Oh, you want to take I this? Bet. I was, we were trying to change our bet to see, oh, what he does. Let me go back here. And I'll go back. Oops, I just lost the hand. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, let me see if we can do it here. So, what do you on the river? We want you want the small blind to bet what? That one, 89? yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you want to see what he so does, look, right? So, yeah. So look, he's folding a, a lot. He's calling with his low kings, and but he's folding all of this hands that we want to get value from. Like, uh, you know, we're 10 and some sevens. So if you go now change, uh, change 89 to 37. I bet he's calling with a lot of that. No, he's still folding. I mean, he's still folding some sevens, right? But he's calling a lot more with his tens. But the thing is, is like, you, you, go, you can go for a smaller value with your weaker hands if you're trying to get called by a 10. Your hand is way too strong to go for thin val like value from a 10. Like you want to get called by an ace that played like this or a king that he just hit on the river. Okay. Two worst pair. Yeah. You have two pair. Like you got to try to get some money in there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that would be a mistake that I would make. And I would make it very often. Sounds like I need to practice that. All right. You all ready for the next one? Yeah. And LP, if you're back, feel free to, to drive. Or I can continue your choice. So we have um, cutoff versus button, three bet pot. We're facing the three bet ace Damn. five suit. Everybody? I'd be ready. We'll go with Jam. No. Okay, it's a mix here. So, what other hands are you jamming? What are, what's your jamming range here? Um, ace four suited's gonna mix pocket tens, pocket nines, ace king off, and ace queen off. Uh, maybe yeah. jacks mix a little too. Yeah, I think ace queen. I think, uh, I think, I think Nick called it basically. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, no right. that's what, what my jamming range is this deep though. I don't know why I didn't do the load it up. It's not loading it up. So you're, it's because you're on reports. So click strategy plus EV. Thank you. There you go. Okay, ace five, ace four. Did you say ace three? No. No. All right, and what about ace king off? I said ace king off, ace queen off, tens, nines, and jacks. Some king, king, king jack wow. is a little bit, it looks like. And some fours and fives and threes. I don't do fours, fives, and threes this deep at 60. I do them at 40, though. That's Nick, that was really good. That was pretty odd, I think. All right, cool. They don't show the run out. <laughs> oh, too bad. <laughs> we we made our flush, by the way. Flop came 555. Five, five. Came 555. <laughs> All right, this is, Why, a, this, is a, this is a cap special. What do you do? You call? have to fold. Fold. I think it's a fold. I'd call. I'd call. I'd fold. They're connected. They're suited. It's a. It's this guy's really wide. Anybody else? Are they wide in our game? I mean, if it was seven four suited, I I might four bet. Stop doing that. You're losing a ton of money doing that. No, I was joking. It was uh, kind of a, a dig at LP. So are we folding or are we calling? Are we, are we um, what are we doing? I, I, I personally would next. fold. I'd fold. Nope. Call 100%. I think that no these, one when, you to get me. Go, when you're the, when you're kind of connected like this and suited in this wide, I, I think you're, you can't give up this. Hmm. Let's take a look. 
All right, so this is the right position. And I mean, look, let's just see what we're folding here. Trash, we're just folding all trash. Right, and the calls, see you've got all these, we're down here, right? And if we look at what how they play all together, I mean. Okay. That makes sense. All right, so let's uh, let's play. Well, it you don't you don't always raise that hand, right? So sometimes is you this purely like purely because it's blind on blind. Because I thought under forty big blinds you're uh, going with high cards rather than connectors. I mean, it's a it's heavily mixed in the small blind. This probably raises like forty percent, fifty percent, somewhere in there. Right, that makes sense. So you're not raising it all the time. So no, no, no. There's, when you there's do raise, you raise all the time, you have to call. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but it part, the part that you said about blind versus blind, I think it's also true. I mean, these are the widest ranges there are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Everyone loses their mind in the small one. Yes, I check. Oh, it's check. Interesting. Okay. 50. Mike? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like a range bet, twenty five percent. Yeah, I mean, so so, what percentage of the time do you think um, this is this position's betting on an ace ace king board when we are defending a three bet? Never. I mean, well, we know we know he's doing it, so it's got to be more than zero. Well, I mean, like in population. Yeah, in population, he's never going. I mean, yeah, it's probably around 50% of the time, according to theory, but. No, there's no way it's 80%. Yeah, I think it is. Um, it's, it is betting. Uh, it's betting 33% of the time. Oh. This is, this is the range. It's betting the range 33% yeah. of the time. Um, and, and it's betting uh, total misses a little bit more, no made hands. All right, so we'll see what he does. We check it, and he checks back, and we get a flush draw. Yeah, now uh, you have to bet. Now you have to bet. Yeah. Sizing? Uh, I mean, so the SPR is what? About two and a half? Or about one and a half, I mean. Yep. So you don't have to bet big. I think 25% is probably about right, 25 to 50. I would personally do 33, but they don't have that size. Yeah, 25 is good. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I said half pot. I changed my mind. It, you know what? I mean, even though they say this is wrong because the computer says 1%, I mean, the EV difference is negligible. So I don't, it's horrible. I am going to change it just to stay in the tree. Any faults, okay. All right, um, somebody else probably, is LP back? I don't yeah, see him. Um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm gonna need to, to check out. So you wanna take this back? Yeah, sure. All right, thanks, that was fun. Thanks a lot to you, man.